If the crack is accessible, you'll need an angle grinder with a concrete cutting disc to cut into the crack. You'll also need a small amount of Pond Shield epoxy that has been thinned by 30 to 40% with denatured alcohol. This mixture will allow the Pond Shield to quickly soak into the surface of the concrete and drag small amounts of epoxy deep into the crack and act as a perfect primer. Hold the angle grinder so that the concrete cutting wheel cuts straight down into the crack. Try not to make the cut V-shaped. You want to ensure that the crack walls are as straight up and down as possible. A cut that goes at least one quarter of an inch deep is fine. Do keep in mind the overall thickness of the concrete you are repairing. If it's too thin, one quarter of an inch cut may be too much, but for a standard thickness of concrete, it's perfect. Now use the 30 to 40% thinned Pond Shield epoxy to wash the recess of the crack. Be sure to apply a liberal amount around the outside of the crack as well. Now you're going to use a normal mixture of Pond Shield epoxy that has been unthinned to fill the rest of the crack. Be sure to use as much as you need to bring the level of the Pond Shield epoxy up slightly higher than the surface of the concrete. You should also make sure that the epoxy completely fills the crack. There should be no voids or pinholes in the coating at all. Finally, choose a plastic spreader like these you can find at an auto parts store to use for applying the fiberglass as you'll see in part 2. 